Welcome to another introduction video about Envision. The linear pipeline, where nodes are executed one after the other, offers many possibilities to solve image processing tasks. However, solving some problems requires algorithms that cannot be expressed in a linear flow of functions. For such tasks, Envision offers the possibility to create branched pipelines in a simple way. Let us look at an example. We open a folder with several images of parts via File, Open Folder. These parts shall be inspected. Under the Ribbon tab pipeline, we can view the different images in the folder. The parts have four screw nuts. Sometimes a screw nut is missing. The task is to identify the parts with missing screw nuts and classify them to be not okay. We solve this problem with a branched pipeline. We click on subpipeline in the ribbon tab pipeline. The subpipeline will be created as a step in the linear pipeline and can be edited separately. Each subpipeline has an output window and an edit window. By default, we see the output window, and to edit the pipeline, we can drag the orange splitter down. At the beginning, the subpipeline has an input node, input 1, and an output node, output 1. The input node is automatically connected to the output of the preceding node of the linear pipeline. In this case, this is the chosen input image. The simplest sub-pipeline can be created by connecting the input node with the output node, which moves the image downstream. Let us address our vision problem. The task can be separated into two main steps. Count the screw nuts and classify the parts into OK and Not OK, depending on the count of the screw nuts. We enter these steps by adding two additional sub-pipelines, this time into the edit window inside the superior pipeline. All available nodes are reachable with a right-click with the mouse. Let us start with a right-click, sub-pipeline. We can now name the pipeline, for example, count screw nuts. Then we create another pipeline for classification. We name it Classify. First, let us address counting of the screw nuts. To count the screw nuts, we need the input image. We connect it with the input of the sub pipeline. To edit the subpipeline, we double click on it. To be able to count the screw nuts, we need to find them first. Let us use the template search with rotation node. Right click, template search with rotation. Template search uses a template of the sought object and uses a similarity measure to find the places in the image where the object can be seen. We need such a template. In our case, this can be a cutout of an image that contains a correct screw nut. We have stored such a cutout image in a separate file. This file can be loaded via an import image node. Right click. Image, IO, import images. The name of the file is screwnut.tif and is on disk D. Instead of typing the path, you can also select the file with the button. The imported image is our template. Let us connect it with the template input of the template search node. We want to search in the input image. Therefore, let us connect the input image with the image input. 
the template search node is working already. Inside the node, the number of found screw nuts is displayed. The number is zero. Let us connect the output of the template search node with the output of the sub-pipeline. We see the result in the output window. With additional information, the most important parameter of the template search node is the threshold. The threshold has a range of 0 to 1, and the threshold determines when this is considered to be a match. The illumination is not ideal. Let us use a somewhat lower threshold. A value of 0 0.6 provides a good result. Now the four screw nuts are detected and marked with a yellow border. Let us look for an image with a missing screw nut. We see that the missing screw nut is not recognized. This means that we can now evaluate the number of screw nuts and classify the parts with this feature into OK and not OK. Beneath the number of matches, the output of the template search node provides additional information, such as the position of the matches and their similarity score. However, we are interested in the count only for now. The function that we need for the extraction is named getProperty, and we find it via right-click, core, types, getProperty. We connect the output of the template search with the input. And now we see the available properties in the drop-down list. Count contains the number of matches and we connect this with the output of the sub-pipeline. There is still the previous connection. Let us delete this connection and connect the count with the output. Counting of screw nuts is now done. Let us leave this sub-pipeline and move on to classification. We can move back to the superior pipeline with the breadcrumbs control at the top. Let us connect the output of the count screw nuts pipeline with the input of the classify pipeline. The classification is realized with a simple condition. We check if the number of screw nuts is 4. If this is the case, the part is OK. Otherwise, it is not OK. Let's use the compare node. Right click. Core. Logic. Compare. We want to compare for equality. Compare the input. That is the number of found screw nuts. With the correct number of screw nuts, that is 4. What is missing is a node, which outputs the text OK or not OK, depending on its logic input. This is the binary selector node, to be found via right-click, core, logic, binary selector. The result of the compare node will be connected to the selector input. The other two inputs determine which result the node should have, depending on its logic selector input. In our case, we want two different texts that can be created via right-click, core, text, text. Let's use IO, which is German for OK, for the true value, and then core, text, text. NIO, German for not OK, in the false case. The result of the binary selector node can be output to the superior pipeline. We see that the result of the count screw nuts pipeline is 3, and that the result of the classify pipeline is the text NIO. We can use the pipeline tab in the ribbon to select the different files and see the text IO or NIO inside the classify pipeline node, depending on the count of screw nuts.
Besides the functions for image analysis, Envision has a number of possibilities to visualize the results of such an analysis and to modify parameters with interactive and visual controls. We will explain the concept of Envision widgets in the next video. To watch our latest videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you soon.